try drawing that again, and I'm going to show you a, a chair flip. Okay? So let's try again. Best you can. This chair will what's called flip, meaning this side will flip up and this side will flip down. And if you have a model set, this would be ideal for you to kind of play around if you need more of a visual than this. So what you're going to do uh, is try your best to kind of uh, draw this thing. It'll be a little bit tough, but. It, it's going to look as if you're drawing a mirror image of it. You can see that the left side is flipped down. It's down now. And the right side is flipped up. So it looks like you've almost drawn the mirror image. So for example, now, now we'll draw these. Remember, you draw, oops, vertical going up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you do the same here, down. At this point, go down, up, down, up, down, up. And then those are all the axial positions, the equatorial positions. Remember, you want to draw away from the center point and parallel two lines away. So these two, this one would be that way. This one would be this way, uh, this way, this way, and finally that way. Okay, and you can do the same here, again, away from the center and parallel to the lines that are two lines away from you. And, and do your best to do, oops, that one up. And uh, there we go. So if there was something, I'll raise these arrows for now, so they're not distracting to us. If there was something, say that's A and this is B, you've got to draw it over there. Now, A, which was in the axial position during a ring flip, will always go to equatorial position. And B, which was on the equatorial, will now flip to axial. So they kind of switch back and forth from equatorial to axial, and vice versa. So you'll need to relabel. And what you might want to do is number your carbons, 4 by 6. So when you look over in the other picture, you know what's where. And just start with the one. This is the one side that just flip down. Two, three, four, five, six. So get out of your way so you can see how I put the numbers. And you know, like let's say you had a, a C and a D here. And you want to know what happened during the ring flip. You go over to carbon number five. Whatever it was axial, the C, is now equatorial. And the D that was in the equatorial position is now in the axial position. So you just flip those over and you can draw any sort of ring flip needed based on what your instructor is asking for. Uh, one other thing that you might want to know out of this is to know, to know what's cis and what's trans, because often we use the cis-trans language when we're talking about cyclohexane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this A, B, C, and D here. And I'll erase the numbers, and I'll just use my fingers and point, and you can always rewind the video and look back. Okay. I'm just remember, trans is pointing opposite directions, cis are next to each other. Okay, trans is opposite, cis is kind of next to each other. So if you just look at these two, hopefully you can see those are trans. Okay, these are trans. These would be cis, because they're pointed in both the same direction, these are in opposite directions. So, cis, trans. Let's try another one. This is trans. This would be, again, pointed in the same direction, cis. This would be trans. Probably that kind of makes sense. Now, if I take this one, and let's say you wanted to know between two random ones, like, kind of like a little, between this and this, you want to know if they're cis or trans. Here's what I do. You start with the axials, because those are obvious, oh, somewhat obvious. This points down, this points up. These have to be trans. Every time you pick up your finger and move it within the same carbon, so you, over, you flip, so if this is a trans, this is now cis. If these two are cis, I move this finger, this is now trans. So these two with stars are trans. Let's try another two, just so you can get the hang of it. I'll pick two at random. Let's go this one, 
the star by this one and a star by this one. I want to know if those are cis or trans. What you do is you start with the two that you know at the same carbon position. These would be cis, they're both pointed down in the same direction. So these two to each other would be trans, the opposite. Then these to each other would now be cis again. Okay? So those two star ones are cis. Sometimes you'll need to know hey, what's cis or what's trans, or you need to put two uh, groups on there that are in a particular position, whether cis or trans.